Hello there everyone and welcome back for another mod review and today I have two really cool mods to review for you guys. First up we'll be taking a look at the Karcher Mobile High Pressure Washer version 1.0. The file size for that is 16 megabytes and you can cart that around with a tractor. Very very handy little mod. Then we'll be taking a look at the Placeable Spotlight version 1.0 the file size for that is 8 megabytes. So what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to discuss a few things regarding these mods. We'll go over the shot and check out some of the specs. Then I will get them out on the field and test them on out for you. So I hope you can stick around and let's get started. Okay folks we'll start on over here with the Karcher Professional Mobile High Pressure Washer version 1.0. File size is 16 megabytes. Price in the shop is 12500 with a zero dollar a day maintenance fee. Now you'll need three resources to fill this up. You'll need water 800 liters, cleanser 100 liters and fuel 200 liters. The mod itself can be bought in the miscellaneous section of the shop but the cleanser will have to be bought in the pallet section of the shop. So we'll go over and take a look at that right now just before we uh, take a look at that. So like I said, under miscellaneous is where you're going to find the uh, washer itself. Then in the placeable sec, no sorry, the pallet section here, go all the way over to the end. There's two different sizes here, a $50 and a $1,800, but it holds a lot more. This one here he said he couldn't get it working, but I managed to get it working. Uh, you can lift this one up with your hand. So. So that is the two of them there in the shop under the pallet section for your cleanser. So let's take a little look around at this. So I'll bring up my toolbar here. You can open the cap on the back. You don't have to open the cap to uh, fill this up, but you have to make sure the cap is on before you can start it up. So this hooks to a tractor or a pickup truck or whatever, and uh, you don't have to have the, the vehicle powered up for this to work. It'll You can detach and it'll still work. So... Let's walk over to the side here, press F1 to get our thing up, uh, press the N key to take your cap off, watch a little cap on the bottom there, so that's pretty neat. Very nice little mod, we're going to go check that out in a few minutes here guys, but for now we're going to push on to the placeable spotlight. Okay guys, next up we have this pretty cool placeable spotlight here, version 1.0. Fall size for this is 8 megabytes. Price in the shop is 2500 with a daily maintenance fee of $20. Now, these lights will turn on in the evening and off in the morning, of course, the same as all the other lamps in the game. And I'm going to give you some of the specs of the light itself. Now, the height of this is 19.5 meters, very, very tall. This is located under the uh, placeables. The light attachment itself is 3.5 by 3.2. The light range is 60 meters. The cone angle of the spot is 130. So let's take a little look around at this. Not really much to see here, but these can be put anywhere and they're very bright and you can turn them however you want. you kind of seen it there at the beginning. Frame rate isn't the best here. i got kind of a lot of vehicles going on, but let's go over to the shop. This will be located under placeables, like I said. There it is there, Spotlight 2500. You can put these on. And like I said, they turn on and off with the evening and the morning. So what I'm going to do, guys, is set a few things up, and we will test these out. Okay, let's hook on up to our pressure washer here. If you see me hesitating guys, my gamepad, I still didn't get going, I lost all the settings for that, so I gotta use my uh, keyboard, and I'm trying to get used to the buttons again, so bear with me. So, we got the smaller one here, and the bigger one, we'll start with the smaller one. Let's try taking the cap off, let's see if that makes a difference, the end key. Because I know I got it working the f when I tried it the first time. <laughs> it's not going to work, and is it? You're going to do this to me. I just got to touch. It looks like it's going empty, though, doesn't it? Yeah, the, the liquid's actually... There, yeah, it's going in little by little. That's awesome. Let me try that again. Yeah, it went in little by little, so you just gotta kinda hold it there. Neat idea. See it going down? Ah, that's awesome. Okay. 
So let's slap the cap back on with the end key. We'll go over and fill up the rest of it. I don't, I'm pretty sure you don't have to have that open for that. So let's bring up our uh, tool bar here. And we'll top this off. There you go, 200 liters. Let's bring it back to the farm so we can fill up on water and everything else. Um, where, there we are. Oh, I, did. I wanted to go by the cows, not in the cows. But the water's just outside here. And we'll also have to put some fuel in it. So we've got the cleanser. Let's hit F1 to get rid of that. And we'll put some water in it. Okay, we got 800 liters of water. And now we're going to go get some fuel. I do believe the fuel station is right around here somewhere. Yeah, I think it's here. Now I can hear the fuel going into it. But I can't see it. I'm hitting the G key too and it doesn't seem to be moving so you can tell it's filled now. So it has all three things in it. So let's go find some dirty vehicles to wash. Now this is really cool because you can take this wherever instead of bringing your vehicles to the uh, place washer. So okay, let's start here. There's not a big range on this, guys. It doesn't say how long it'll extend, but it's not very big. Okay, let's, I'm going to turn the tractor off to show you that that will work without it. You do have to press something different to get this going, and it is the enter key. So there you go. Yeah, if you have the cap open, watch. Close the cap first. So, so it's quite a bit louder too than the regular pressure washer, but it works fantastically. It works really, really well. There, there's your uh, the extent you can walk away from it. But the thing is, you can drive it wherever you need to put it, so it's not a big deal. I love these portable little pressure washers. You can see it works just great. A little on the loud side, but you can see all the uh, leaders there up in the toolbar. I thought this was fantastic. We'll be adding this to our Let's Play. Probably a couple of those spotlights too, because I really enjoy I like nighttime farming, but I find on the recordings it looks so dull that I usually try to avoid it. But perhaps if we had a few of them going around, we might uh, break it up a bit. Okay, let's, uh, let's bring it around the back there so I can wash some of the uh, cultivators and stuff. Okay, turn it off. I'll even uh, detach from it to show you that it works fine without it. Don't need power. Well, that thing cleans up pretty fast. Beautiful. So there you have it, guys. That's the Karsher Mobile High Pressure Washer Version 1.0. Okay, let's test out the placeable spotlight. I have one set up there, so let's bring on the evening. Look at that. Look how bright that is. Now let's get the real night. Oh, I kind of jumped by that, didn't I? Okay, hold on. Let's go through the day again. Get it around 2 o'clock in the morning. There we go. That's fine. So you can see that is very bright. Lights up a lot. Got some uh, effects on the light there, like it's early morning, which it is. So it kind of adds to the effect, but look at the... Uh, Look at the width on that. That's fantastic. So let's go over to the shop located under placeables. And there's what it looks like when you're setting it up. I'll show you where it's going to uh, shine. Let's put that right in around here. We'll turn it a bit. Not the map, but the uh, light itself. And place it down. Let's jump out of here. 
So look at that. Those those spotlights are fantastic. I really like them. Actually, I didn't have to put them that close together. You can see how extra bright that is. But let's go over here a little bit. Uh, let's get some speed going. Still gonna, kind of getting used to these buttons here. But here, we got a field here. Let's slap one down there. Let's see how bright this is. Put that right about there. And look at that. Very nice. Oh, a good portion of that field is lit up. So that is really cool. So there you have it, folks. That was the Karsher Mobile High Pressure Washer version 1.0. The file size for that is 16 megabytes. Then we had the Placeable Spotlight version 1.0. The file size for that is 8 megabytes. Additional information and links can be found down below in the description, guys. I really hope you enjoyed today's review. If you did, maybe you can leave a like on your way out. And if you're new to the channel, guys, why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen. And I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and Let's Plays every other day. Plus, my Patreon link is just below that if you'd like to help and contribute to the channel. It really helps out. So, until next time, take care and I will see you all in the next one.